This YouTube summary streamer is so amazing. Here I've got this video on how to make perfect boiled eggs, and I'm going to paste the YouTube URL in this summary streamer. And check this out. It streams the results. I'm going to pause the video. It plays automatically. It streams the uh, summary in this resulting web page, and it's really great. I love this idea of not having to watch long videos. I mean, this video isn't particularly long, but I love the idea of not having to watch these long videos or lectures and just getting this nice condensed summary. And here is the end result. And look, it even generates YouTube chapters. Anyway, I want to show you how to get this all working locally because a lot of this is open source. The brains behind this project is this individual right here, Jason. So go and give them your support. Maybe give them a follow. Go check out their work. The project that we're interested in is a video summary streamer. This is the backend component to the overall website you saw. There's a front end and a back end, and getting them to work together is just a little bit of terminal commands that we need to use. First, I want to clone the project, but actually, let me make a YouTube summarize folder and cd into YouTube summarize. Finally, I will git clone video summary stream the URL that we just copied, then CD to video summary streamer. And here we have a summary app and a transcribe app. We want to CD into the summary app, and then we will pip3 install the requirements.txt. Now I'm not a Python person, but as long as you have Python installed, this should all just work. At most you might need to update Python, but that's it. And then you want to brew install Postgres. So this backend component to the YouTube summary, it actually uses a database. I've already installed that, so I'm not going to install it again. And you want to brew services start Postgres. So that just starts the service up. And at this point, you should have this create DB. And this is a handy terminal command to actually create your database. I'll call this video summaries. I will create a user. Let's call it video user. So we create a user called video user one, two, three, four, five password. And then we need to grant the appropriate privileges on the database. So there's a key SQL command, which just allows you to execute raw SQL queries. So PSQL, and instead of my video summaries, we call this video summaries. And it wasn't my test user, it was video user. All right, and that should hopefully work. We need to run some schema. And I'll show you how this works in just a sec. Ooh, okay. Well, this is a good time to actually open the app. Okay, so here is the schema, and this will just create a database with an ID, you know, a YouTube URL, video ID, and the, the summary. The summary is the important part, just so it's cached. And we don't have to keep generating these summaries each time, which is costly with OpenAI's APIs. But before we even start talking about the database, we need to fix this error. So it's saying that the server doesn't support SSL. When you host this in production, you absolutely want to use SSL, but for messing around with this locally, just for prototyping and experiments, I'm going to get rid of that SSL bit and rerun that command. This just initializes the database. I'm using table plus and it's basically a database viewer. I will edit the, the settings for the database. And it wasn't my test user, it was video user. And this was video summaries. Let me test that connection. This is just so we can see what the database looks like. Of course, there's, there'll be nothing inside it, but here is the summary table. You've got an ID, a URL field, video ID, summary markdown. Hopefully we can now run the backend and see if we can get a curl request going to actually generate a summary given a video. So is that in my history? Yes, it is. Let me copy that command. I just need to edit. It's not my test user. It is video user and video summary. I'll clear that. That's what the command looks like. Looks good. Beautiful. The back end is working. Let's try running a curl command. So I'm going to do a split tab and I'll try and run this curl request. The important part is this open API key. I've done that behind the scenes and I've passed in just a random little video. Let's check out what is this video? Oh yeah. The point of this was just to find something very short and it's a YouTuber who's I think trying to marry someone for a very short period of time. 
but we'll, in fact, we'll discover what is happening in the video in the summary if it's working. Let's run this. Amazing. And look at that streaming even with curl. Ah, that's the best. The joys of open source, the joys of this new AI stuff. Now let's get the front end working. Now we're in YouTube Summarize, which is the folder that I created. We're going to clone the front end. Git clone front end. CD magic text. And I think there's another magic text within there. <laughs> and it looks a little bit like this as a package JSON. So of course, let's straight away get on that NPM install. And then it's NPM run dev. We've done our NPM install, and I just want to make one very small change to the code. And that change is in summary.ts. So now instead of using that URL, which is the, I guess, the production backend, I kind of want to use my local backend. Const URL equals, and we can get that from the curl request, which is localhost YouTube underscore markdown. Just like that. And finally, it's just an npm run dev. And that should expose a web server at local host. 3000. There we go. We click on YouTube. Great YouTube University. If we use that very short video again, this should be the cached version. I hope. There we go. So that was cached that appeared in an instant. Now let's use a another video from BBC. Again, I'm only really using these because they're short and they don't cost too much money. I'm going to paste that new YouTube URL in. And if I scroll down, oh, I want to pause that. If I scroll down, there you go. You're getting this real time stream where it's summarizing the video in this like really cool way. And yeah, that's it. Now, the magic text repo, that's the front end. But what is kind of cool is the back end. If we go to the back end and we check out summarize.py, you can actually see the prompt that is being used to create these YouTube summaries, which is fantastic learning opportunity, by the way, if you want to understand how these sorts of things work. And the timestamps that you saw, this is the instruction that specifies that. Square brackets because of Markdown. Here is the system prompt. You are a professional note taker. Makes sense. Go and try this out yourself. There's the new video that we added in our database or the summary for the video. Okay. The speaker notes that the shape of pyramids is good for shedding rainwater. That's, uh, yeah. Go and watch a video. That's British humor for you. Oh, and just a small note the prompt is kind of big. And of course, the subtitles or the captions for these videos can get quite long. So if you are using your own API key, just be mindful about the cost.